And good morning everyone, magandang umaga po. Um, yesterday, Axelum is already available sa PSE to trade. But it dropped big time. One of the biggest losers, in fact, yesterday. Si Axelum bumagsak ng negative 6.20 yesterday. Umabot pa nga yan ng how much? Um, at a certain point in time, almost 9% yun, di ba? Um, hindi, umabot ng... Sorry. Let me, let me adjust my ano. Um, oops, ayaw na maggalaw ng tools ko. Alright, sorry, sorry. So, at a certain point, nag-drop siya ng... Ayaw po malaw ng tools ko. Anyways, yan, medyo malaki-laki yung drop niya kahapon. Very big drop yesterday. Umabot ng... Halos ano, if... I mean, at one point, nagita ko mo, magsak ng 15% yun at opening. But we discussed about this, about IPOs. We're gonna be reviewing it again since noong na kahapon. Um, just to also to set expectations sa mga nag-IPO sa Aulo. Bakit nagkaganon? That's one of our discussion today. If you have any sentiments about Axelum, if ano nangyari sa inyo, ano emotions sa inyo, please post it on the comments para mapag-usapan po natin. Alright? Um... Also, I have a few picks for today that we'll be discussing after uh, the discussion. Kung ano nangyari kay Axelum, uh, please post it in the comments. If you have any requests to do charting, please post it here. Any questions about, at all about investing, um, we can always talk about them. But our main topic today is Axelum. Ano nangyari kahapon? Bakit ang laki ng bagsak ni Axelum kahapon? Right. Let me... Um, mahabot ng 20% kahapon bumagsak diba from opening right so ito yung chart niya kahapon I'll show it to you uh, from the opening down to the bottom talaga inabot niya was 20% and then nag recover lang and close at around is it 11%? bakit? negative 6% lang naman na 4.62 I'm not really sure with the tools Right, point nineteen from five twenty nine. Um, is my tools do, uh, showing the right numbers? I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, um, uh, malaki-laking ano ito bagsak kay Axelum. Um, magkaiba yung nilalabas ng tools. Eh. Alam ko ten per almost ten percent lang yun eh. So my tools are not uh, loading properly. Let me let me prepare this really quick. Axelum. So yeah, price range. Yan ang pag ginamit ko si price range. Dito yung opening. Ayo nga pala sa tama tama. From the from the highest peak pala ito. Pero from its opening was just uh, around 6.20. Yan, so 6.20 ito yung open um yung price niya dapat na lumabas is 5 piso. Pero umakyat yon So, very volatile yesterday. So, we're gonna talk about that today. Sorry about that. Medyo naguluhan yung ano ko. Naguluhan ako ano nangyari. Nag-gap up nga pala yun. Alright. Um, okay. Joel Lagares, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika. Uh, Carlo Turingan, good morning po. APC and ISM po. We'll talk about... Uh, let's check these out. APC and ISM. Let me load my chart. Alright, so yeah, um, PSS, PSEI, APC. Bakit hindi nawawala itong, uh, what do you call this, uh, watermark? Dapat nawawala ka, right? So APC, oh, very good bounce for APC. Um, we do have a downtrend line for APC. Ito yung medyo concerning factor niya. Um, but this is the support of APC. And nag bounce nga siya doon. Alright, so if you wanna test out APC, test out the support if you wanna get in. This is a descending triangle, but yesterday's si uh, signal was good. May spike rin sa volume. So, most probably magtuloy tuloy ito. Um, but strictly get in, um, get in near support so that your risk is very low um, if you're trading this, right? That's for APC. Si ISM naman, um, may mga rumors na naman kay ISM na lumalabas. But so far, so good. This is a good support for ISM. Um, uh, I'll still, I will still recommend ISM for long term. Okay pa rin naman si ISM. Yun nga lang, matagal yung pangalan na change. But 
um, the contracts were already signed. So, uh, under you then na talaga siya. Right? So, no, nothing to worry about that. Chris Canilan, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. O nga pala, guys. Um, uh, please, I'll, I'll request from my end, please share the video to your Facebook calls and your tra trading groups para naman po malaman ng mga friends ninyo that there's a program like this that will help them in their stock market journey. Okay. Um, my buntag from Narlo Baroro, Tommy Escobedo. Good morning, Coach Lloyd. Thoughts po kay BPI. Meg, pwede po ba ang pasukin? Si Meg, I recommended Meg. Actually, dalawang, ilang beses ko na ni-recommend si Meg. Meg here and Meg yesterday. So, umaangat na si Meg. So, that was a good signal. Uh, that's a good sign. If you can get in support ni Meg as much as possible, um, this is a... Uh, if you want to trade it, kung trade lang naman gusto ninyo, you get in your support. But if you're on bodega mode, you just buy, pwede pa. Pwede pa siyang bilhin. If it goes further down, just keep buying more. We're expecting Meg, expecting Meg to uh, really recover at this level right here. Ito yung major support niya for the longest time. So, doon natin abangan si Meg. Pero, hindi natin alam kung babagsak pa dyan eh. So, that's why I've been telling you to just test buy here if it goes further down. Then, you just buy more. Because, we don't know if it's gonna go down there. Pag hindi bumaba, hindi natin makakapasok. Right? That's why I've been recommending Meg already. Si BPI naman. Plus, kaya BPI is still very good. I've been recommending BPI because it's been a, it's a good company. Uh, right now, nga lang, may resistance tayo dito. This is the major issue with the possession of BPI. Right? So, sa susunod na entry nyo, the best would be a, uh, what they call it, a breakout or if bumaba man dito sa support na ito. So, those are our entry points. Ngayon, wala pa. So, I don't wanna recommend BPI yet. Air Plata, good morning, Coach Lloyd and Laika, Miss Apple. Good morning then Francis Wahilan, good morning. Wealth Gainer, maganda umaga. Rods DJ, Dahay, 4.2. Yes. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. VUL, CPG, and PIP po. Let's see, VUL gumalaw kahapon na. Right? So, VUL gumalaw yesterday. So, yes, we were talking about the support of VUL. Ayun, ang ganda ng climb ni VUL. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok. Because um, that was the major support of VUL. That's why it was a go. Kaso nga lang, pula siya lagi. Kaya hindi ko nare-recommend. But, yeah, uh, we talked about this yesterday. So, congratulations sa pumasok yesterday. Um... Is it good to get in today? I will want um, VUL to pull back again and bounce para gusto nyo pong pasukin. Next pull back and bounce na kasi I know medyo uh, masakit-sakit na risk dyan. So, konti ingat po kay uh, VUL already. CPG. Alright, so CPG. Um, I will still recommend CPG dito sa support. Actually, I recommend ko si CPG for bodega. I'll just, just try to, if you haven't entered CPG yet, this is mid to long term re re um ano ko, this is a mid to long term uh recommendations ko recommended it here at the bottom laki ng panalo natin but i still think it's going to go up since cpg has been doing well it's very cheap right now original price niya umabot pa nga ng uh, 4 pesos right so this is going to be a very good recovery for cpg since the company is doing well already so yeah, just test by here if you want to trade it. At least no, may support pa rin tayo. Use this support as uh, use this line as your support. For CPG, um, ano pa ba yun? CPIP request niya CPIP. Ma pa downtown pa si CPIP. Eh. I don't want to recommend PIP yet. Um, though there is a support right here. Um, kind of shaky for me si PIP. Though maganda naman ang second quarter earnings niya. Baka maganda rin yung third quarter earnings niya at gumalaw si PIP. This is a possible support actually. So if you wanna test this out, um, I'd say no. Uh, ne, daming, and daming negative signals eh. Pa -pa 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 RSI ni. So I think this is still gonna drop. I don't wanna recommend PIP, especially that fundamentally speaking, PIP is still shaky. So may news pa lately na titigil na lang snacks nila na production. So yeah, that's gonna be very challenging for PIP. So it's gonna be very hard to say. What PIP is gonna, what PIP prices are gonna do in the future? Air Plata sa mga newbies po nakagaya ko na nasunugan ng fans try to watch vids of Sir Lloyd and Sir Jed. Sobrang helpful po siya sa pagbawi ko bumili po, uh, bumali, bumalik ako sa so virtual and practice again using their vids. Alright, guys. Um, yeah, ang pala si Air Plata is been trading in the international market. Um, ako is I am more of a passive investor ngayon sa international market since. Uh, career right now is changing paths to an educator from a trader, right? Um, so, nag-educate na ako ngayon. So, I switched to a more longer term, uh, longer term way of 
investing in the stock market. US markets po ako ngayon, naka-hold po ako. Um, ay, ay kamusahin ko yung port ko. Speaking of international market, um, yeah, uh, real portfolio, I'll go to my real portfolio and starting naman na uh, umaakit na ang international market. So this should be able to start go start going up. Um, I'm holding this for long term. So yung mga losses nakikita nyo if you're copying me is just for paper losses po yan. Um, market's gonna recover anyways anytime soon. So I'm more into passive already. Air Plata, I have friends who are doing day trading. We created a video for you already before on day trading. We have a much more formal, uh, which much more formal na um, seminar for day trading. If you wanna learn how to day trade, abangan nyo po. And if you haven't registered yet, please register. Sayang naman po, right? So um, this is for free, right? This is the this is the seminar. Uh, this is this will be co uh, presented by Miss Miss Raquel Necesito. She wa uh, she placed thirteenth on the asia's trading challenge using real port right po 106 percent in just one month trading golden oil and she is gonna share with us her uh her expertise right how was she able to do that 100 106 percent in um in uh the international market gold and oil point in the trade nila right um so we're gonna share this to you. Yan yung po, yan po yung sinasabi ni Air Plata, yung mga videos with me and Jed Villardo, um, who's, do, who's also doing day trading in the international market. We have a video about that before, and then we're gonna feature Miss Raquel also as she was successful last month uh, with trading the international market. So please join this. Wag niyo po sasayangin. Just go to my page, Financial Freedom One Hundred One. Uh, and dito po yung registration links and then just follow the instructions on the ano on the on the registration so please join that if you want to make day trading a career grabe po yan 106% what if 100,000 100, lang ngayon pera 200,000 ang pera mo in just one month if you know what you're doing and we are going to teach you how to do it okay um going back let me go to the ano the charts and the chats no, not this one. As in yung chat natin. Uh, here it is. All right. So going back, Air Plata. Thank you so much. Or, um, Air Plata has been doing well. Um, I've been following you, Air. Diba fifteen percent ka last month. She was able. She was able to uh, recover her ports by trading. Nagma virtual siya, but her real port was fifteen percent. If I'm right. Right. Raj, the high tama coach. It's considering the IPO price, right? Which is 5 PHP, tama. From 5 pesos to 420. Continuation, Air Plata. Then, nagmenjo confident na po ako lit after recalibrating my trading style using Sir Lloyd's Insights. Medyo nakabawi na po. Investment, invest time watching his vids and really helped me a lot. Thank you so much, AR. All right, so Air Plata. Ganito lang po yan eh. Why am I recommending the international market? Why am I recommending to, for you to trade in the international market? Kasi po yung mga tinuturo kong technical analysis. The technical analysis, uh, the strategies, um, <clears throat> is much more applicable if there is healthy volume on the uh, on the asset that you are trading. For example, kaya nga sinasabi, blue chips po ang i-trade ninyo kasi mas, na, mas, mas nasusunod ang, um, ang technical analysis sa blue chips. Diba? Why? Because there is volume in blue chips. Ang karamihan ng mga investors andyan sa blue chips. And in the international market, volume is very healthy. right? If you're given a chance to trade, if you want to trade, why not trade in a much better playing field um, than PSE? Mahira po mag-trade sa PSE, I tell you. That's why I always invite you to trade in the international market. And with eToro, even though there's uh, one of our sponsors, but I still recommend you trade with them. Why? Because they give us the oppor opportunity to trade the international market. Kasi po, sa normal brokers lang na iba. Pwede ako mag-recommend ng iba. But with other brokers, you need the exact amount. For example, si Amazon, gusto niyo i-trade. Eh, 1,700 ang stocks ni Amazon ngayon. May $1,700 ba tayo to trade just one stock? Wala, di ba? Tapos, pag meron ka naman, all-in ka naman, kaagad kasi ang laki ng amount. So, mahirap. Now, with eToro, which is CFD trading, um, they're allowing us to trade Amazon already with just $50. Pwede ka na mag-trade ng Amazon with $50. Pwede ka na mag-trade ng gold and oil for $50. Di ba? 
So, pwede ka rin mag-forex kung gusto mong forex. That's why I always make this a point na if you want to trade, why not trade in a much better playing field? Technical analysis are much, much more better in the international market because of volume. And you know, PSE, walang volume ngayon, walang investor. Kaya pahirapan mag-trade sa PSE. Okay? Kaloy, Hotsaki, Hotsaki, then Apple, like uh, how to, how does short selling work? So, okay, um, we still have time naman. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about this. Um, let me open up my paint. Alright, so I want to explain this to guys who are newbies. Meron po akong video about short selling. I can, uh, you can watch that. Um, I'm just gonna, what do you call this? I'm just going to um, explain this uh, very short and understandable as much as possible. So, these are, for example, this is a uh, price price action, right? So, this is the go price going high and going down. Diba in PSE, we earn by when the prices go up. So, if for example, dito ka bumili and the price go up and you sell here, that's where you gain money. Diba? Sa short selling po, to make it uh, to make it understandable, if you you don't own the you, own, you don't own, own the stock, but if you think the stock is gonna drop after hitting this lower high, let's say this is a lower high, us mas bababa yung high niya. So you think it's gonna drop already and not gonna go up, and you speculate if it's gonna drop. What you do is basically press sell. Di ba wala kang stocks na hawak? So you press sell, sell at this price, and if the price does go down, kung ilang percentage ang bagsak nito, let's say this dropped around twenty percent, right? Yung drop niya, then you do you and then what you do is you return it here basically you press on close the trade and then is solid mo na yung stocks then whatever the negative here was yung drop niya that's what you gain in return you gain 20 percent how do you gain in this bakit paano ka nagkaroon ng pera eh wala ka namang binili what you did was just sell here that's why it's called short selling diba? what you did was diba for example when when if, for example, I'm a long-term holder, may hawak ako ng stock, the, your brokers has stocks in hand available. The brokers have stocks in hand available. When you short sell, you basically borrow the stocks from ano, from the broker. Okay? Or, for example, you borrow stocks from someone. Right? Kilala na ng mga brokers, sino, kanina, saan sila kukuha ng stocks. Basically, when you short sell and you sell, you borrow stocks. Now, for example, ako ang broker. Right? When stock prices go down, I lose money, diba? People lose money when stock prices go down, right? And where does the money go? Yung nawala kong pera na 20%, saan napupunta? Randomly, it just goes to anyone dito sa PSE, diba? Kahit, 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 kanino, kahit kanino napupunta yung loss ko, diba? I lose money. When I lose money, then there should be, uh, there should be rece someone receiving the money, right? So, ganun po yan. Um... So short selling is you're making it direct. For example, ako may ari ng stocks and I lose twenty percent. I mean, I'm ako may ari ng stocks ako broker and then you short sell it. I let you borrow my stocks, right? Basically, I pinahiram kita na stocks ko. And then what this happen? What happens is when the stock goes down. For example, I lose the stock prices lose twenty percent. Basically, I lose twenty percent, de ba? Kung bumabag sa stocks. Now if I lose twenty percent, sana punta ang pera. Since you borrowed my stocks, yung pera ko nawala, bibigay ko lang sa iyo. Tapos isolid mo sa akin ang stocks ko at this price. For example, hiniram mo ng 2 piso, so pahiram ko muna sa iyo at 2 piso and then isolid mo sa akin at 1 peso. So I basically lost 1 peso, yung 1 peso binigay ko lang sa iyo. That's how short selling works. Right? I hope that's clear. Um, basically yung nawala kong pera naka-direct na sa iyo. Right? It's not yet available in PSE so mga medyo nagugulhan. That's the thought. I'm trying to explain it as easy as as possible, but uh, yun lang. Um, to to summarize it, I'm losing money since you borrowed my stocks. Sa hiyo po na pupunta yun na wala akong pera. Ganun lang. And then ibalik mo lang sa akin. The moment you close your, close the short sell, ibinalik mo lang sa akin. May nawala akong pera na pun na nabigay ko lang sa yon. May charges and everything, but still. It gains. So if you know how, if you know, if you see bearish signals, then you short sell the stock, you earn money, right? 
Doesn't matter kaninong stock galing yan. You don't have to think kaninong stock ito nahiram ko or kanino sino stock. You don't have to think about it. It's the brokers. Yung brokers na sakit sa ulo na yan ng brokers. But the system allows them to do that. Basta the thought is if the stock prices go down and you short so you're, you're short selling it, you gain money. Okay? So very good question from Kaloy. So I hope um, Kaloy, I was able to. You were able to understand that. Rafi Ayub Sirloy, I already funded my Itoro. Still, still, pa mama kasama sa promo. Thanks, Rafi. If you, as long as you created the account under my link, send me a message to Financial Freedom One O One so I can include you on the list. Hindi po ito automatically mabibigay sa inyo. You have to enroll for the promotion. And the way to enroll is you have to send me a message. Right, so send you po ako ng message Financial Freedom 101 para ma-include kayo sa promotion. Speaking of that promotion, I will shout it out. Sayang po, malaking pera po ito for everyone. Pamasko ko na po ito sa inyo. Right, so if you want 25% gains right away just by funding your eToro account, you can. Okay, please just make sure. This is I, what I, why I always tell you. Make sure you create the account using my link. And jan po yung link sa video description na sa baba. Um, click on the link on creating the account. And then once my account na po kayo, you can fund it. If you fund it before October 14, we still have six more days for that. Um, if you fund it before October 14, then you should be able to join the, uh, the promotion. You will get $50. Right, fifty dollars po na bonus. Right, that's a lot, and that's your money clean already. If you wanna withdraw it, you can. That's how clean it is. But I don't recommend you, uh, fun, uh I don't recommend you withdraw it. You invest that bonus na man pera yan. But at least about twenty five percent gains for just a two hundred dollar na um investment. Okay, um, send me a message. So I think Rafi sent a message already. Paul Alegado, your message got retracted. Um. Uh, good morning, Coach. This is from Paolo Hardiniano. Good morning. Then, Air Plata, Sir Lloyd, may question po ako sa eToro. Sir, sa research tab, pag example, may nag-buy, kunwari, mag na, may nag-buy na analyst na may dollar value, example, 100. Ano pa ibig sabihin nun? Thanks, Coach. All right. so, let's go to um, the research field of eToro. Right. for example, uh, let's say si Visa. Right, so Visa... Uh, let's go to newsfeed. Punta ta kay, kayo, tayo kay Visa. Right, Visa. Okay, so si Visa kasi, I mean si Itoro kasi, meron siyang newsfeed and uh, this is one of the most important parts in Itoro is the research, right? Kung hanap kayo lagi na analyst, go to research. The, the best analysts in the world are being paid, uh, Itoro is subscribing to them para makakuha sila ng mga analyst like this one, um, Moshe Katri, pa, hindi lang basta-basta ito na analyst na tulad ko ha. <laughs> These are analysts who are uh, from uh, well-known, um, what they call this, from well-known, um, well-known banks, right? Guggenheim, UBS, etong mga ito, these are hedge funds, uh, Fisher Assets Management. So, mga kilalang ano yan, mga analysts ito. So, if they buy, a price target is 187, that is that means dyan sila, yan yung expectation nila umabot ng presyo. For them, this is the fair value, 187. So, right now, the price is 174. So, they still think that Visa is still gonna go up to 187. That is their, uh, what they call this, um, low estimates, okay? Low estimates yan nila. Average price is 201. This is uh, most probably uh, kung saan about average expectation nila. Right now, the bullish, um, bearish naman ng market. So, their expectations are the low estimates. So, 187. Uh, from Guggenheim is 199. Your expectation nila price. High estimates is 225. So, it's still on the, on the upside sa current price ni Visa. That's why I've been buying Visa. Um, Nakabuy ako and hold. Kasi strong buy yung sentiments ng market and the analysts. If you want to read about their articles, just click on this side right here. And pwede nyo po i-read yung buong article niya. For example, Jeff Cantwell from Guggenheim. Read the article. So it should open this one. Um, these are the analysts from them. Mababasa nyo po yung article nila. Okay. Um, going back. So I hope that answers the question. Um, Sean Salumbides, good morning Sir Lloyd, lumipad na kahapon si SLI. Tama, we talked about SLI yesterday. It's still on a good 
uptrend and lumipad nga kahapon. Ang problema ko lang talaga dito is it's already way up there. So, ito wala mahanap na uptrend ng mga tao. So, ito yung best talaga um, na pwedeng ano yun, pwedeng pasukin. So, pullbacks po. Always wait for pullbacks. Yesterday's position was a flag pattern and nag-breakout siya. That was a good that was a good opening for SLI and nagtuloy-tuloy from that from that signal. But this is these are the best entries. Pullbacks to MA20. At least man po, kung mali tayo, we can always cut loss at a very minimal loss. So, medyo yung position kahapon kasi, hindi ko siya ma-recommend because it's very hard to say the very least saan papunta ito. And then, it did break out and then there it is. Um, Lumpi pled si SLI. Congratulations. Right for SLI. But we are starting to reach uh, over bot level. So, konti ingat. Okay? Please make sure you know what you're doing and measure your risk. Ngayon lang po, I'm always considering being conservative because the market is not yet healthy. So, it's very hard. Um, Raymond Arano, good morning, Sir Lloyd. AC, AC is in my recommendations for today. Ibudegan yun na po si AC. AGI, nag, um, nag pull back after a very strong climb, which is very good. So, if ever we see a bounce in AGI anytime soon, that will be a buy. Si SMPH din, lumipad kahapon. It's just that, uh, medyo mataas na si, S, uh, si SMPH. Alam nyo po saan abangan sa yellow line na yan. So, sana bumalik, right? So, yan, abangan nyo po dyan kasi medyo high risk na si SMPH ngayon. BJ, my ISM ka pa, sir, hawak for long term, malaki po ba? Yes, I still have a very big uh, <laughs> handling kay ISM. Minawakan ko pa yan for long term as long as wala namang bad news. Hindi ko po muna bibitawan yan. Uh, anyways, my average is low so it's still okay for me. Okay, I can always average down if I want to. Meron akong strategy if ever ipit kayo ng ISM. Uh, you can use the strategy wherein um, and just look for my video how to average down without adding funds po. Uh, that will be a very helpful strategy for you if in the, if malaki ang ipit ninyo. Okay? Kung sa taas kayo nakabili. Tech naman, there's a request about tech. We're gonna start our discussion at around um, 9. No, no, siguro, siguro 8.50, right? Around 8.50, we're gonna start our discussion. Si tech, um, medyo downside pa rin si tech. Though, nag healthy na RSI ni eh. So, bodega ang strategy pag ganito. We don't really know for sure when where is tech gonna land. That's why I haven't been recommend um after it broke the support, medyo tricky set tech hindi ko muna rin recommend um it's touching the lower Bollinger bands all, all, again. So it might still go down. Abangan po natin ang buy ni tech na sure, okay? <clears throat> Beka tangan hi Sir Lloyd. Um good morning po. May mga videos po kayo on how to buy and sell sa Itoro, how to put stop loss. Um how to buy and sell. I, I don't think I have a video about how to buy and sell. But I what I have is, yeah, meron po ako, meron po ako. Just look for this video. Go to youtube.com. Um, Itoro platform review po ito ng, ng channel ko. Itoro review Lloyd Bazaar. So, Lloyd Bazaar, search for that. So, Itoro, yeah, Itoro. Itoro platform walkthrough. At dyan po, paano mag-buy, paano mag-sell, paano mag-set ng stop loss. I believe I I discussed this here. So, search for this video po. Okay? Um, hmm? What is Itoro copy trading? And dyan po yung copy trading. Uh, yan. Okay, so, let's continue. Beka tangan, pwede mo mag-set na closed ang market, mas mahal po ba ang fees noon? Wala namang additional fees kung mag-set ka ng kahit close ang market. That's what I do, basically do. If ever nag-aabang ako ng breakout, eh, close closed pa ang market, what I do is do a pending order. So, I just create an order, for example. This is very helpful for you in those who are trading eToro. Okay, let me just erase this. Okay, so ganito yan. Diba? Ang price action is like this. Pwede po kasi itong gawin ni eToro. Right, so there's a resistance there and the price is just right here. So the resistance is around here. Let's say the resistance is $100. $100 po yung resistance. Eh, close pa ang market. Eh, tulog ka mamaya or may meeting ka. Diba? So this is the support. So what you do is just put a pending order. Pending order meaning when you open an order, um, lagay nyo po, for example, a breakout will be at 101 $101, that's a breakout for you. So you what you do is you put an order at 101. 
right? So, pag nag-buy ka kayo, uh, let me open this one. Let me go to my virtual portfolio. Go to virtual port. For example, Visa. Um, trade. So, ang current price ngayon ni Visa is 175. Let's say 180 yung breakout. So, what you just do is click on this. Set rate. Ibahin yung, um, at market kasi yan eh. This is the current settings. Pwede nyo pong ibahin yan. A trade meaning at what price do you wanna get in? So at at 175.14, what you do is you put it at 180. Okay, then just put how much money you want. Make sure you are leveraging down, and then stop loss mo po. Pwede rin po yung um, amount naka amount po yan by default, and you can also change it to rate. For example, I wanna put in 500 dollars lang. I mean 500, and because five hundred dollars ang gusto kong ilagay, let's say my um yung uh yung cut loss ko is to, um in amount. This is an amount. So from the five hundred dollars to hundred fifty ang cut loss ko, I can change that to let's say one hundred dollars lang gusto kong e risk sa five hundred dollars. So you can do that. But also you can what you can do is set a market price. For example. The cut loss here is, let's say, $95. 95 itong cut loss ko. This is my cut loss level, $95. So, I can always also do that. For example, here in Visa, um, I can change it to rate. Since the current price is 174 dito sa taas, 174 Let's say, ang cut loss ko dito is 160 So, I can change that to rate. Instead of uh, instead of the amount na cut loss ko, I can change this to 160 Right, so meaning 174 siya ngayon. If mahit niyang price na 160, maglalabas na ako, right? So pwedeng rate, pwedeng amount. Same here sa market price. Mamaya na siya pumapasok if ever 180 na yung presyo. So here in the diagram, so uh, kahit andito pa yung presyo, um, let's say 98 pa lang yung presyo, mag 99, mag 99 siya, hindi pa rin ma-perform ma yung um, buy signal ko, yung buy order ko. Mamaya na siya papasok pag nahit na yung 101, that's when my order is going to enter. That's that's so that I am able to enter on a breakout. Usually, cut loss ko dyan is this is our support. I will cut loss around here. So, pwede ko mag-cut loss ng around 98. So, pag nakapasok na ako, sorry, 98. So, if nakapasok na ako at 101 at mag-fail ang breakout at na-hit yung 98 ulit, magka-cut loss ako. So, kahit tulog ako, na-execute yung buy ko, na-execute yung stop loss ko. So, that's the beauty of eToro. At, uh, you can trade automatically. So, pwede pong ganun. Wala namang additional fees. Gotcha Legend, IRC, Sir Lloyd. Let's cover IRC. Time check, it's 8.49. Last lang muna ito and then I'll go to the discussion. IRC. It's IRC. Maganda naman yung support pinapakita ni IRC. If you want to trade IRC, this is a good time to trade it. Ang ganda ng RSI ni pinapakita ni IRC. I'd say yes, this is already a good time to test IRC. Nagko-confirm naman sa support si IRC. And then, good thing is, it's very low risk. In case mali tayo, you can always cut your losses at a very minimal risk. Okay, I wanna go to the discussion now. Right? Mag-discuss muna tayo, okay? So, Axelum, yesterday, um, let me open the Axelum chart. Axelum, Axelum, right, AXLM. It's right, Axelum, nag-open yesterday after the IPO, nag-gap up opening kasi ang daming gustong bumili and very excited at ayaw magpahuli. And then, naging investor. <laughs> Ayan, kasi nagpa-hype ka agad. Okay, so from the opening price, may mga bumili and even dropped as low as 20% from the opening price. So, laki ng ipit ng mga naghabol. Okay? So, ito yung mga naghabol noong kasi, di ba, na oversubscribe daw. Sobrang dami daw ng investor. Um, so, humabol sila na subscribe kay Excelium kahit medyo mahal. And ayun, investor. So, I've, already, I've always discussed this to you. Unless you are an investor kay Axelum, wag muna kayong bumili. Ayun, ang mga bumili, investor talaga yun. Especially sa mga naipit. Yan. So, I've been telling you this before. What happened? Bakit siya bumagsak? Okay? Bumagsak siya. One factor is, I'm not saying na bad ang company. Biggest factor is, IPOs are always, always unpredictable. That's why I don't want you to get in. Hindi po natin alam kung aakit yung babagsak. Bumagsak siya. Bakit? Because of the market sentiments right now, bearish po ang market natin. 
you know that there is no volume, you know that foreign investors are not getting in. So, konti, napaka-konti lang po ng mga investors sa market. And if you get investors in a market where there are only so few investors, the buyers are not gonna sustain. Di ba, umaakit ang stocks pag maraming buyers. But since konti lang investors, walang gaano buyers, bumabagsak, bumabagsak yan. Hindi magsusustain yung buying and mas marami kasi mga chupitero, eh, yan, magbibenta ang mga yan. Kahapon lang, nag-gain, um, si Axelum, nag-gain ka agad, nag-gap up, binenta ka agad ng mga tao. Ang ending, kasi konting bumibili, mas maraming nagbenta, bumagsak si Axelum. Okay? And ang daming nag-cut loss ka agad, nag-panic sa binili nila. Ayun, bumagsak at bumagsak. I told you, if you wanna enter it, make sure you are an investor. Okay? Kasi pag bumagsak yan, you're just gonna be buying more. Hindi yung pumasasay ang pera nyo. Kung papasok po kayo sa IPO, you are gambling. You don't have technical analysis on your side. Okay? Isa yan sa mga importante when it comes to trading is the technical analysis so that you can gauge the price action at least to put the odds to your side. Makikita mo ang price action, uy, unti-unti na siyang umakit or nagiging bullish ang mga tao. At least doon, transparent na may chances na umakit na. On IPO, we don't have any price action. We don't have any chart. Okay? Kahit pa ganun, kaganda yung company niya, DMW dropped. Okay? So, it's really hard. That's why I don't buy IPO if I'm a trader. If you buy IPOs, make sure you are getting into IPO because you're an investor in that company. So, that's my take. Bakit bumagsak si Axelum? Pangit po ang market ngayon. Even the good companies, Ayala Corporation, Jollibee, Metrobank, bumabagsak nga eh. eh kilalang mga companies na yun. Si Axelum pa kaya na hindi pa natin nakita ang track record niya. Di ba? So, Axelum dropped. We are expecting the same thing with All Home since market is still bearish. I could be wrong. Right? But I am expecting for um, All Home to also drop. And then if ever it drops, then that's when I'm gonna be entering. If ever mali ako at lumipad siya, I'll just wait for the next pullback and bounce to know uh, to know a good entry. Okay? Huwag po yung papasok kayo sa IPO because you're gambling as a trader. Hindi mo po alam saan yung pupunta. Okay? So, that's our that's my take on what happened to Axelum. Now, I wanna talk about my picks for today. Here are my picks for today. Lagay ko muna sa comments. Tatlo for trading and then dalawa for bodega. Bodega meaning accumulate, start accumulate these stocks. So PNB tags, andyan po sa comments, PNB tags LR, then Globe and AC for bodega. Alright, so let me pull up the chart of una is PNB. Uh, isa sa mga gusto kong i-recommend for today. So PNB is already showing us good divergence signals already. Paakit na po yung RSI niya. So, there's momentum on it already. Nag-spike ang price yesterday. This is a good time to buy PNB. It touched the MA20 and bumalik naman malapit sa support. So, right now, it's very low risk. Actually, pwede nyo ito yung ibudege, right? Pero, yeah, I okay, can also recommend this for trading. This is already a very good price for PNB. RSI is telling us na nagkaka-momentum na yung bottom na yan. So, possible na ito mag-reversal. Attempted a reversal on the first um, previous climb and di nag-sustain. So, hopefully, the second time mag-okay na si PNB. So, at least, low risk pa naman siya. So, pwede pa natin testing it. Next is TUGS. I've been telling you to get in TUGS and may confirmation buying na tayo ngayon. So, I'm recommending TUGS for today. Use this support. Actually, pwede nyo pong butegahin rin ito. Si tags. Alright, we have a confirmation yesterday. Pwede nyo i-trade yan or pwede nyo po i-bodega. This has been the cheapest. Um, tags has been for the longest time. If magmura pa yan, sobrang mura na ng tags niyan. Okay? This is a very good company to get into. Alright, so tags, bodegahin nyo na. And then si LR, actually hindi lang bodega, pwede nyo i-trade. Also LR, pwede nyo na po ito i-trade. Pwede nyo rin pong bodegahin. Napakamura ni LR. We are sitting on a very strong support for LR. Uh, yeah, um, LR is already... Um, a buy for me. Um, tapos na yung downtrend niya. Nag sideways na tayo. And this is the support for the sideways. Wala na tayong downward momentum. Meaning, mas healthy na ang galaw ngayon. Um, sideways supports are now much healthier than a downtrend support. Right? So, sideways support na ito. So, I'm recommending LR for today. Hindi ko alam kung gagalaw yan kaagad. But this is the best time to test by LR. Now, next is 
Excuse me. Globe and na I'm I'm I think I'm gonna sneeze pero ayaw lumabas. Hindi ko alam ang sneeze sa Tagalog eh. <laughs> Gusto ko Tagalogin pero hindi ko alam. But anyways, uh, Globe. Yan, budagihin nyo na po si Globe. Um, super support. We are sitting at a super support kay Globe. Um, just buy it. And then if ever mali man tayo, this is already a triple bottom for Globe. I will recommend that. Um, but if ever mali tayo, there is an, another, the next support is gonna be definitely a buy for Globe. That's the cheapest it has been. That's, that's a massive support. So, hindi natin alam kung bababa yan. So, I want you to start catching Globe already. Test buy na. If you have a 30k budget, ang 10k, lagay nyo na po dito. And then, if ever it hits the new support, another 10k here. And then, <coughs> yun, lumabas na rin. Um, if ever it starts an uptrend, then that's when you buy another 10k. Kaya ganun po ang strategy niyan sa mga bodega. Um, Globe and then AC, same with AC. Ayala Corporation has been the lowest it has been. Kakabounce lang natin sa support na ito. Massive support for the longest time. Last year pa itong support na ito. Uh, 2018, June. Right. Last year pa yung support na yan. So we've reached that support again. Uh, budagahin nyo na po yan. If ever it goes further than, then just keep, keep buying more. This is a very good company. You won't go wrong with Ayala Corp. Uh, with considering its um, action, uh, with the performance of the company. Right now. So, those are my recommendations. Hopefully, nahanap nyo po yung mga companies na gusto nyo doon. If you notice, karamihan po dyan are only good companies because I only trade good companies. That's part of my trading strategy. Okay? Um, yun, I'm gonna go back to the comments of everyone. Uh, gotcha, le uh, Legend Girl. So, we covered that already. Emily Gultiano, good morning. Yes, nakapanood ka na naman, Emily. Uh, Lian Camacho, message got retracted. Hindi ko po mabasa. Ar Arvin, Tikar, Sir Lloyd, Fen and Meg po. Meg recommended it yesterday. Umakit pa naman. So, it's still okay for me. Overall, si Meg pwede pa sa mga nagbobodega kay Meg. Bodega, pwede pang bodega yan. Traders, next pullback na lang and bounce. Kahapon was the best entry point for Meg. Um... Sino nga ba yung nag-ano nag, nun? Good morning. nag na po ako last Monday pero la pa pong bonus till now. Hoy! <laughs> hindi po po tapos ang promotion. Ah, Napaka-excited. Hindi po, iisahin lang po pag-process ni, ano nyan, ni, ni Itoro nyan. Right? Uh, sorry if I didn't set this expectation. Um, on the third week pa po, pag natapos na po yung, ano, pag natapos na po yung promotion, saka pa ipaprocess ni Toro yan, hindi nyo po matatanggap kaagad yan, napaka-excited. Jose Marie Tuazon, ha? Sorry, it's my fault, I didn't set your expectation. After na po, uh, after na po ng promotion yan matatanggap. Sabay-sabay po yan lahat, right? So, kung gusto mo pa mag-fund ulit, pwede pa rin. <laughs> right, Meg, salamat po. Yan, from Fen and Meg pala, from Ar Arvin Ticarcio. So, si Fen also. Right, sorry about that. Didn't set your expectation about when matatanggap. So, Fen is showing us a good sign. Um, I want Fen to uh, confirm a support before I want to get in Fen. Kasi heavy on the downside si Fen right now. Medyo mataas pa na yung akit niya. So, konti ingat mo na kay Fen. Um, best to wait for a pullback and confirmation of a support. Alright, so good morning sir. Sa short sell, paano po hindi na hit yung sell price mo? How much do you lose? Paano hindi na... Anton Lim has a question. So, good morning, sir. It's a short sell. Paano pag hindi na hit yung sell price mo? How much do you lose? Depende rin. For example, uh, let's use this chart just to be uh, just to be easier. For example, Alright, so for example, Dito. So, we have already a lower high. So, this is a good sign to short sell. Diba? Magandang signal yan to short sell. So, you short, start short selling here. So, while it's going down, you should be gaining money already. So, while you're gaining money, you're gaining money. May green dito. But, hindi mo binalik ang stocks. Hindi mo kinlose ang trade mo. So, short sell, sell here. You sell signal. Uh, you press the sell here to short sell and you're gaining money here. Paano pag hindi mo na benta? This is already gaining. Let's say how much are you gaining from this point to that point. That's already 16% gains for you. 
So, 16% gains already there. but hindi mo binenta? Kasi sa tingin mo, babagsak pa ito. Hindi mo binenta, tapos umakyat, and then doon. Right? So, if ever, bumalik siya dito, any close mo trade, 0% ka lang. Right? If ever, umakyat siya, pa pataas ng ganyan, and you're, you're losing money already. Uh, magkano ang loss mo dito? Kasi from here, pag umakyat ang umakyat ng stocks, meaning ikaw ang mababayad sa taong hiniraman mo. Diba? Diba? Dapat kung magbaba yon, mawawalan siya ng pera. Right? Since ikaw may hawak na stock, pag umakyat yon, dapat umakyat, um, tataas ang pera niya. Saan siya kukuha ng pera? E di sa'yo, ikaw ang short sell, ikaw ang may ram. Diba? So, I'm gonna take money from you and then you're, basically, if ever umakyat siya ng 7%, I'm gonna take 7% from your money because I need to gain money and who am I gonna get the money from sa naghiram ng stocks ko. So, ganun din. Okay? May hawak ka pa, Sir ISM, for long term? Yes, definitely. Sean Salumbides. Sir Lloyd, if nakakreate na ako ng, before ng Etor account at wala pa namang fund yun, pwede ka ba, eh, pwede ko po ba ipalipat sa referral link mo yung nabukas na account? If nakakreate ako ng account before Etor account at wala naman. Um, Sean Salumbides, let's try to fix that. Can you send me a message sa Financial Freedom 101? Any thoughts on Axelum, sir? I think um, it's not yet a buy. Axelum, right? Axelum, it's not yet a buy. We don't have price action. We don't have clear price action yet. This is a very volatile as of the moment. And it's very hard to do this. Um, especially for position traders kasi wala tayong definite ano ba talaga ang sentiments. Nagkakagulo pa ang market. Hindi pa alam kung bullish siya or bearish or na mangyayari. Right? We don't have any price action yet so I cannot recommend what is the best action for Axelum as of the moment. We will wait for Axelum to maybe stabilize. Pag nag-stabilize na yan, less volatile na, that's, what, that's where we do our action. Okay? Wag ngayon kasi medyo mga, mga malilikot lang ngayon. Based on your opinion, sir, do you think maganda po ang fundamentals na Axelum? Yes, I studied the company. Maganda naman ang fundamentals nila. So, yeah, we can, at the very least, um, check it for, uh, trade it for short term. Hindi, muna, hindi ko muna sasabihin ng long term kasi long term, you have to see the um, performance of the company for a longer term to really know for sure it's if they're very uh, they're a stable company. Ronnie or Piada, Chief, good morning. How are you? For page stocks, okay ba si 2Trade Asia? Current broker ko kasi walang mobile app. Hirap mag-trade kung on the go. Yes, definitely. That's one of the reasons why I like 2Trade Asia kasi may, may, may mobile app sila. You can always buy and sell even if you are away from your computer. Right? So, yes, it's a very good broker. Napakabilis ng system nila. Very help, uh, very helpful ng, uh, ng support. Right? Message mo lang sa Facebook group nila. If it's office hours, nagre-reply ka agad yung mga yan. So, I strongly recommend it. Oliver de Guzman. Hi, Sir Lloyd. Uh, VLL po. Rafi Ayub. Thank you, Sir. Sent your message. I'll do my best to answer that today. Hi, Sir. VLL po. Let's cover VLL. So, ito yung isa sa mga pinakamalaking na-recommend ko eh. I recommended VLL here. Laki ng gains na ng mga tao. Right, so VLL, we have a resistance for VLL. That's why it's very challenging for me. Ito sana double bottom. This is a good sign for VLL to enter. But we are at resistances right now. That's why I don't want to recommend it. Kung mag-breakout yan, sige, pwede niyo natin basukin. But right now, I don't want to recommend VLL. Just yet. Okay? Um, Oliver de Guzman, Gio Van... Zar, may buntag sir, green FLI po. Kumusta natin sa green? Time check is is 905. Okay, so green, nag-break ng MA20, so baka tapos na yung climb ni green. Right now, we want it to stabilize for now. Antayin natin baka gumawa ng support, but for now, wala pa tayong signals for green FLI. FLI naman Budagihin nyo na ito. Right? Pwede na simulan nito. I think it's still gonna go down back to this level. Pag na-hit ito, this is the best time to buy uh, uh, FLI. Actually, pwede na yung bilhin 148 and if it's, it starts to dip, then start buying, 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 buying. And then until you get your right volume, if the company recovers, this is a good company. So if it if the price action recovers, then you're gonna be in a very good position. So pwede nyo na simulan yan. Just D, what if hindi ako naka-open using your link sa eToro, sir? How can I avail of the $50? Um, Josh D, 
uh sadly this is only for those who opened the account under me but send me a message baka ma-fix pa natin we'll try to send a request for eToro baka ma-transfer pa nila sa atin okay send me a message Zenaida Karunungan Sir Lloyd good morning any updates on Sama uh, investors of PHA di pa ako nang pagkat loss super laki ng loss ko yun nga eh wala tayong update sa Sama eh. I'm I'm watching it Ako, nung lumabas yung news na hindi, w- parang wala nang clear si Sama, nag-cut loss ako. I did cut my losses there. But anyways, yung losses ko minimal lang naman compared sa na win ko from PHA. So, that's okay. Um, sa so Sama, wala tayong update sadly. So, it's gonna be very hard, Zenaida. Um, overall, the company is good. Right? So, if ever... Um, gusto nyo i-cut loss, I don't recommend if malaki na ang losses nyo. Pwede nyo pong gawin is yung tinuro ko po sa inyo na um, how to cut loss without adding funds. Ganun lang ang gawin nyo if ever malaki talaga ang losses niyo, Okay? So, if it rallies and then creates a resistance, sell a portion of it and then um, keep the money. If the prices go down and makes support again, you then you buy more. It will slowly pull down your average. Okay? Para liliit ang losses niyo. Uh, Shan Salambides, now po, pwede po bang pasukin? Si Now, um, si Now na-recommend ko on the support actually. So yeah, um, I'd say yes. If mag-green yan si Now at mag-confirm na support, pwede nyo po testing yan si Now. 270 is a good price for Now. Um, Lea Chell, DNL Sir Lloyd, any thoughts po? DNL. A good company. Um, recommendation ko po ay DNL is bodega niyo po yan. We, we already started to do bodega here. This support, it's starting to collapse. Um, if it creates another support, you just buy more. Yun po yung recommendation kay DNL. Very good company. Um, you won't, um, um, for sure, this is gonna go back up in the future. Okay? Um, try to, pero, gawin niyo lang po yan if kilala niyo po sa si DNL. Iba kasi tayo ng tolerance level. If ever kilala mo si company, mas malakas ang loob mo para mag-hold sa company na yan. Unlike na company na recommend ko lang, hindi mo naman kilala, you have to do your due diligence. Please read about DNL, um, check out their history, and it's up to you if you want to follow me or not. Okay? Ganun po yan. Hindi po porket sinabi ko, susundin nyo na. You have to follow your heart also. If hindi ka naniniwala sa company, if you read the company, if you don't think it's good, then... You can always cut your losses if ever. Or wag nyo munang pasukin. Okay, so Adonar Gourmet. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasilip si RCI. RCI Pip. Salamat po. From Kuwait. Good morning po sa inyo dyan. Ang aga-aga pa sa Kuwait ngayon. RCI. Yung mga kapatid natin, OFWs. Ang aga gumising. Para lang sa daily grind. Right? And the market. Right? Si RCI nag-break ng MA20. Um, really hard to tell right now. If, since it broke MA20, that means the momentum has stopped. Pero baka mangyari ulit ito. We don't know for sure. I want it to create a support at the very least muna before we wanna take advantage of it. So for now, RCI is very uh, is very tricky. Um, si PIP naman, meron tayong support dito. Hopefully, mag-breakout siya. Pag nag-breakout yan sa downtrend niya. Or at least confirm the support right here again. Pwede nyo po i-testing. But I'm not recommending PIP personally. I could be wrong. RB Necessito. Uy, meron lang palang channel si RB Necessito. Ayan, RB Necessito, Itoro Day Trading. Good morning, sir, and everyone. Pa-attendance lang po. Guys, try to, um, please subscribe to RB's channel. Yang nag-comment na yan, si RB Necessito, Itoro Day Trading. She will be our co-speaker for the seminar, the day trading seminar, this um, November 10 and 11. Siya po mag-guide sa atin um, with how she does day trading. She was able to earn 106%. In a month, right? 106% in one month uh, doing day trading. Nag-day trade siya ng gold and oil and she's gonna share to us how she does it para matuto po kayo mag-day trade. Register the seminar also and subscribe to your YouTube channel. Gumagawa rin yun siya ng video also. Right? So, RB Necessito, um, welcome. Um, G. Fernandez, um, MBT Idol, Swing Trade, um, MBT... Actually, pwede na ito swing trade eh. Right? Uh, nakapasok ba kayo sa bottom? Uh, I already recommend, I've been recommending MBT here. Bumagsak ng konti, pero nagsaswing na pataas. You have a possible resistance here. Kung gusto nyo swing trade, if hindi po kayo nakapasok, pull back and bounce po. 
pull back and bounce and then once it bounces that's when you enter kasi nasa resistance levels tayo so konting ingat muna for G per Fernandez Carl Nico Santos sir pa check naman po Fen we covered Fen already Bahing ayun Bahing pala yung Tagalog ng sneeze ah si Mark Ray Bisaya to tas <laughs> ang galing mag Tagalog to, la, talo pa ako si Mark Ray Mercoleta Guys, if you want uh, if you want um, someone to create your website, if you've been following my website, which is mangingisda.org, uh, si Mark Ray Mercoleta po ang gumawa ng website na ito. Very beautiful website. Uh, the database behind this is very good. Um, ongoing project. Uh, Mark, um, this is done by Mark Ray Mercoleta. And you can also, if you want a website for your business, message Mark Ray Mercoleta. Um, their Facebook page is called Mark One. Um, so send him a message on Facebook Blaze Fernandez Tech sir Sorry late ako si Tech Okay lang po yan Blaze Fernandez Wala naman tayong ano Wala naman penalty sa late <laughs> Right um, Si Tech naman Medyo on the downside pa si Tech I don't wanna recommend it yet We will see if we can get any signals for Tech But RSI wise Paganda ng paganda pa rin ang RSI niya Kahit pababa yung presyo Meaning wala nang gaano nagbebenta It's just that there are no buyers also, kaya hindi po nagsusustain yung momentum niya. Okay, Emily Golchano, bahing rin. Now, please, we just covered now. Gary uh, Vincent, Gary Vincent de la Cruz, does eToro have a maintenance fee? Wanting to be investor of dividend stocks in the US market. Wala po maintenance fee si eToro as long as wag nyo lang po i-leverage at wag nyo lang po i-short sell. If you're just going for long term, then there's no maintenance fee for that, for stocks especially. Pribadong publiko, Sir Lloyd, paano po ba nag-set up ng charting sa international market? I use in uh, tradingview.com, right? Pwede niyo po kayong gumawa, gumamit ng tradingview.com uh, for your charting, okay? You can use that. Um, Gabriel Rulyoda, Sir Aba, please. Thank you. Cover natin si Aba. Nagpo-pullback pa si Abe. Right, so, abangan mo natin si Aba. Nagtatouch pa sa lower Bollinger Band, sir. There's momentum on the downside. So, mukhang pababa pa si Aba. So, ingat lang muna. Sir, good morning. Tanong ko lang, sir. <clears throat> David Joe, we covered MBT already. Rafael Dominguez. Oh, sorry. Sir Lloyd, <clears throat> good morning. Tanong ko lang, sir. If I have $200, can I buy units of oil? Right. Very good question. Right. So, you can do this instead. Kasi for commodities, for example, si oil, You need um one thousand dollars minimum of ano of uh exposure, right? So one thousand po ang minimum jan. If may two hundred dollars lang po kayo, hindi po pa diyan kasi maglalabas ito. Minimum position size for oil is one thousand. So what you do is, kung may two hundred dollars lang kayo, is you multiply it to times five. So mag times five leverage kayo, and then you use two hundred dollars. Then there it is. Your exposure is already one thousand dollars since two thousand two hundred times five is one thousand. So if you have two hundred dollars lang, leverage it to times five so that you can open a trade. Because for commodities, and same with oil, same lang po yan, right? So um, let's say si gold, ganon din kay gold. Gonna trade gold. One thousand then po yan. If you only put in two hundred times one, hindi po siya pwede. So ita times five niyo po si two hundred. Okay, and may overnight fee po siya kasi nakaleverage ka ng point fourteen, right? Ah, commodities have overnight fees kasi ang mga ito is only meant for day trading. So as much as possible, wag niyo po yung overnight close your trades within the day para wala po kayong fee. So libre lang siya kung Iko close nyo rin naman kaagad within the day. So that's how the traders are doing it. Okay, sir. Pa check si Meg. Meg is still okay. LHC. This is from Becca Tangan. LHC. LHC recommended it. Was that yesterday? Yes, I recommended it yesterday. Market siya kasi ngalang pumula rin kaagad. But still, the support is still there. It's still a buy for me. Okay, pade pambilin yon si LHC pag nagreen yon. Um. IMI, ang ganda ng pinapakita ni IMI eh. Kaso nga lang, shaky pa ako sa fundamentals ni IMI. But we have a good support for IMI right here and we have good RSI. If you think this is good to trade, I don't recommend trading kasi to this, these kinds of um, months. That's why I haven't been recommending IMI. Pero ang ganda na ng support, ang ganda na ng RSI. So this is a divergence signal for um, IMI already. So yes, I will say this is good. We are at the 
most bottom level of IMI already. So actually, pwede na ito. Fundamentals lang ang, ang question ko talaga kay IMI. Will it do good this year or next year? Yun lang ang question ko. But technical analysis wise, this would have been a buy already. So if you wanna trade it, yes you can. Um, at least low risk pa siya ngayon. Joanne Cornejo, good morning. Mabel Pass, good morning sir. Pwede ka mag sa eToro using Gcash app. Wala pa naman, wala pa man ko yung Gcash card. Sadly, you need the Gcash card. Please approach, um, please approach Globe para makakuha kayo ng card. Kasi kailangan po ng credit card. Eh, si Paymaya po, maganda. Kasi si Paymaya, pag verified yung account nyo, meron po kayong virtual credit card. Right? Pwede nyo po sana gamitin yon. Okay? So, from this for Mabel Pass. Or what you can do is, uh, you can do local online banking. So, sign in. Let me just sign in. So, if you want to deposit funds for here, you can do online uh, you can do online local banking. So, for example, I will put in a thousand dollars. When you click on submit, it will bring you to the ano. It will bring you to the Dragon Pay, uh, Dragon Pay processing. And then, sa online banking yung po yung bank yung po na may online banking. Meron po yan Dragon Pay. Um, I hope you know how to pay Dragon Pay. So, pwede po doon. And then it should go to just click on select payment, um, BP, BDO, internet banking, BPI, yung fund transfer, Metro Bank, May Bank, RCBC. Ito pala lang yung bank available sa atin for the meantime. But you can do that also. Okay? Kung meron kayong local online banking. David Joe, Sir Lloyd, uh, average price ko sa MBT is 72.6. Uh, MBT. 72.6. Um, this is a good time to average down if you're going holding it for long term. Since um, hinold mo naman siya, I think you're going long term. Best to do average down since napakamura niya ngayon. Right for that. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insight siya po kay Web. Uy, si Web. May buy signal yan today. Eh. Na-recommend ko na kasi si Web kaya hindi ko na hindi ko na-recommend. But yeah, um, hindi ko nasulat. But yeah, Web is still okay. I just um, na-recommend ko na yan dito. It's still doing well. Support is still holding. It's still a buy actually si Web. Okay. RB Necessito, thank you, sir, sa pag sa aking channel. You're welcome. Um, yeah, ch um, check out RB Necessitos. Pero, well, konti pa lang video niya, but she's starting a video blog. na inspire siya sa episode natin kahapon, sa mga hindi nakapanood ng episode kahapon. How much you, you will be earning in um, create uh, in YouTube? Ayan po. <laughs> Sana ma-inspire naman kayo na mag-start kayo mag-YouTube. Make your passion your career. Pwede nyo po i-sideline yan kahit once a day nyo lang po gawin every weekend, right? Spend your time wisely. I always teach that to the kids uh, sa mga seminars ko whenever there are millennials. Always, always use your free time wisely. Doon, ginawa ko is on my free times, so I do my YouTube and then eh, it got me to travel the world. So, yeah. Start a YouTube channel. Come on. Gary Vincent de la Cruz, you're welcome. John Vincent Pleto, Sir Lloyd, question lang, if I copy the person and gain a $50, is sinasama ba yung $50 gain sa trades? Yes, nakasama yun. Kasi, um, if the person all earns that percentage, if he puts at on a different stock, you're still in proportion, so masusunod nyo pa rin po yun. Okay? So, no problem with that. Alright, so, ayun, um, David Joe Augustine, you're welcome. So, that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Um, market is still slow, right? PSEI, looking well naman sa PSEI. But then again, uh, the volume is still not yet there. Medyo pula si market yesterday, but we're exp that's expected after the strong rally last Friday, uh, yesterday. So, I mean, the other day. So yeah, market's still shaky, so I don't want you to go aggressive in the PSE at the very least. Um, kung gusto nyo po mag-trade, Join us in the international market. Make sure you create the account using my link. And then you have until October 14 to fund it. Okay? Para maka-join kayo sa bonus agad. That's instant 25% gains. Come on. Sayang naman po yan. Right? And then, if you want to learn how to day trade, register on our, what do you call this? On our um, seminar. Right? Yung seminar na yan, if mag-register po kayo, required po to create another account for day trading. Right? So if meron po kayong, if gagawa po kayo ng bagong account and lagyan niyo ulit ng $200, that's another $50 for you. So dalawa ng account na may $50 for you. So that's going to be very uh, that's going to be very beneficial for you. Join the seminar so that you will learn how to day trade. So in the future, you decide to become a day trader, you already have access to the video and you can review it. Okay?
So morning, pwede ba pasukin si Pure Gold? Pure Gold is showing us good signals at the bottom. So yeah, I think Pure Gold is okay. Yeah, pwede ito. Right? Ang ganda na signals pinapakita ni Pure Gold. Actually, budagahin nyo po yan. Ang ganda na company na yan. Emily Gulchanyo, you're welcome. Sir, gawa po ako kayo ng Q&A for eToro. Siguro, yes. Uh, let's make one. Most probably this, this Saturday. I'll, I'll schedule one Saturday. Gagawa ako ng advertising about it. Q&A about eToro. Seminar about eToro this Saturday. Okay? That's it for today. See you tomorrow. As always, let's get rich together. Bye, everyone. Huwag niyo po alimutan create the account using my link so that you can join the promotion. Subscribe to my channel.